Hello guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how you can use public private key pair in order to connect to remote SSH host from VS Code. So let's get started. Okay, before jumping into the current video, I wanted to, you know, just let you know that I already have a video regarding this. So using this video, you can set up the configuration and uh, by using password, you can connect to remote SSH host. Okay, current video I'm making is the extension to this video wherein I will be showing you how you can use public private key pair or basically you will be using key key pair authentication instead of actually entering the password of the VM. The benefit of this is that uh, if, if in case your you know VM password changes it does not affect your connection settings and you don't have to you know worry about the password or you don't have to know password for that purpose. Okay another thing is that uh, uh, it will benefit is that it will you know boost your speed to connect because you don't have to enter the password each time otherwise it will you know be a headache that currently I'm facing you. So I will show you my scenario in my case. So you can see I have this Raspberry Pi device which is running Ubuntu Server OS version 20.04 LTS and I have already installed and configured SSH over here but without the key value pair. Okay so you can see this is my VS code connected to this uh, IP address and by the way I have also used the static IP binding so that my IP address doesn't get changed. So if your router supports the static DHCP IP binding then uh, you, you should configure it and so that you know you will make sure that which device is getting what IP and then you will always be able to connect to the same IP without changing the configuration settings okay or it has a host name that that will be also good. Uh, you can use also host names by the way with instead of IP. So okay with that being said let's get started to the current topic so how to configure the keys basically. So configuring keys I will just show you the my setup in a nutshell. So I have Windows machine with VS code and I'll be connecting to the my Linux Raspberry Pi device. Now by the way this Linux Raspberry Pi device as I said is already configured with the OpenSSH server and in the VS code I have these two extensions remote SSH and remote SSH editing configuration file both of them are from Microsoft and having millions of downloads so these are good extensions you can go ahead and install these things on your machine on your local machine in the VS code extensions now for the setup of the keys it is really simple three step procedure so first of all we have to generate the key pair which is a public and private key pair using this command okay so I'll just copy this command and fire it over here take a note I'm currently in C users Yugesh directory okay I will just hit enter and it will ask me to you know for the location of the files of those key key pairs so I will highly recommend you to use a different file name instead of this default because uh, we generally use this default for other purposes like uh, github connections or anything like that okay so I'll just highly recommend you to use other files any other file you know uh, file name instead of this so currently in my case I'll be giving file name like id underscore vs code okay and since I'm in the Yogesh Yogesh directory then my public private key pair will be also be there in the C users Yogesh directory so if I just enter now it is asking me to if, if I want to create a passphrase for this key value pair what does it mean by is that what does it means is basically if I enter the password here then again I always have to enter the password in VS code but that password will be the password of the you know key pair it is not actually the VM password so you are safe there as well but in my case since I don't want to use password I will just go ahead and hit enter now my public private key pair is already generated and it is located over here in this C users Yogesh directory as you can see this is my public key and this is my private key now this is my public key where you know I will be uh, copying this key to the Linux machine or the Raspberry Pi device that I have and I will use my private key to uh, you know mention in the identity file. So how I can do that is let me just first of all open this public key so you can edit this or you can open this in notepad as well that is not an issue. Copy this public key and I will go to VS code you can see I have this dot SSH folder and inside that I have this file name authorized keys so I will paste it over here and I will save this file again this is my Linux machine or this is my remote host machine where open SSH server is up and running so you have to paste your public key in the authorized keys file inside the dot SSH directory okay if you don't have dot SSH directory no issues you can just you know uh, create one by using these commands so you can just make a directory dot SSH change to that directory and touch 
authorized keys so it will create a empty file for you just like this and you can paste it over here that's all you have to do on the remote machine okay so I will be closing this connection now because my remote machine task is done I just have to paste my public key inside this file on the remote machine okay it will be usually in the username so in my case Ubuntu is the username followed by dot ssh directory which is usually hidden okay and then authorized keys this is the file name where I will be pasting my public key I will now close this connection since I don't need it anymore and I will just open this you know configuration file that I have okay again control shift P and open configuration this is the configuration file location and you can see I don't have any password or anything like that now I will be using my private key file over here so this is my configuration file I will be just saying identity file and this is my private key file for the SSH connection and I will save it and I will close the Visual Studio again I actually don't have to close I will just go over here and I will say I want to connect to this open in current window now you can see the authentication will be done by the keys and I will be you know I don't have to enter the password and I am back in the Ubuntu developer tool just in case you don't have this configuration file uh, readily available with you I will show that to you again let me just open the VS code and it's trying to connect again you can see it automatically connected to uh, this SSH target I will just close the connection just in case you don't have this UI with you okay doesn't matter uh, it is just you know basically uh, it comes from over here this file so let's say I just uh, delete this data from here I will save it and you can see I don't have SSH targets so if you are new then you will be probably seeing this screen don't worry just click on this SSH then username add the rate your host name in my case it is the IP okay I will hit enter and it will ask me to save or create the configuration file so now already I have this file in my location so I will just just choose that thing and you can see host is added again go back open configuration file this file you just have to add one entry identity file and paste the path of your private key so you pasted the public key inside the authorized keys files in the remote host or remote SSH machine and you are pasting the private key uh, location over here in the config file and that's what that's all you have to do and you can go ahead and connect to the SSH remote host machine without entering a password and we basically using public private key pair for the authentication so uh, just to give you in a nutshell so this is a three step processes process basically step one we generated the public private key pair and I will highly recommend you to use the different location uh, or different file name you can see this is my file names private and public key then I have to update the SSH configuration and add this identity file entry uh, like this and I will provide the private key file path okay that I just generated and in the third step I just have to add the public key in the authorized keys file okay which is in the remote machine and usually it will be inside the username slash dot SSH directory will be having this authorized keys file okay and you can see we are connected so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions or any queries let me know in the comments below I will be happy to help thanks for watching have a great day bye bye